so in this video it will be exceptional because I want you guys to enjoy trading Forex I want you to love trading instead of just uh, hate the market or keep revenging on the market because so many people they think unfortunately they think that this market is very random and it's not organized and it's moving uh, for no reason and of course that is bullshit as we know if that's true no one will ever make any money out of it um, the rules the first rules in this game is I am on a demo account in this video just to be clear in this part because a lot of people uh, attacking me uh, live trading videos are all made on my real account my live account but this particular video I will do it on a demo account because you cannot dare to do what I will do now on the live account now the question is why are you teaching us something on demo instead of real the, the answer is simple what you will see in this video is only for fun is only to uh, increase your knowledge in trading it's actually to test your uh, understanding of how the support and the resistance moving how the trend is moving where the candles are going to reverse it's only to test your skills if you having any problem in trading this is the best way so you can test your skills and put it on the real test what uh, using what I will do now so this is the first rule the second rule is have fun so let's start the fun guys in this video Good evening guys how are you I hope you guys are doing very well and as I said in this video I am on my demo account and what I will do now uh, is I will go to the pairs one by one and I will place the trade immediately then I will explain to you the reason for each and every trade and in the end of the video we will see the results of my of my trades so let the fun begin now I am on the GPP JPY and I'm about to place I will place the buy option here alright actually no need to set any uh, take profit or stop loss alright and now I am on AUD USD um, AUD USD uh, this is for buy and USDCHF is not clear and uh, this one is for sell this one not clear uh, this one is for sell USD CAD for sell of course and uh, this one uh, I can sell it but it's not really what I'm going to do uh, nothing clear here nothing clear uh, nope um buy and this one not clear uh not clear don't worry guys i will explain the reason for every trade i have made uh at the end uh, sorry at the, uh, after finishing the trades um buy and this one is not real clear not real clear um, 30 minutes this one is kind of suspicious so I will avoid it and this one here is buy and this one is sell um, GPP CAD I believe this is for sell also and this one here not clear uh, not clear okay so how many trades we have so far we have about 9 10 11 trades about four, eight, 11 trades opened so just one second guys I will pause the video for a minute 
All right, I just paused the video for like two minutes only and we can see that we are already in profit um, When we started the video or when we started the trades, it was a minus hundred dollars loss Now we can see now we are uh, reaching uh, almost uh, 35 dollars of profit So let me go to the trades one by one and explain to you the reason for each and every entry uh, JPP GPY is so far uh, failing and let me please explain the reason for my entry here um, as you can tell the JPP GPY is actually uh, going up the trend is, is uh, an uptrend as you can see we have here an uptrend meaning we need to focus on the buying options now what I did here was simple hit and run strategy if we look here guys we can see on this support level we had the bounces at uh, this level here here support number two and support number three as you remember this is support one and two and three then what happened next is we had another support and the candles was bouncing at this support level uh, this is a support this is a support and here also it is a support as well so what I saw here is also another support here guys and you can see the candles are actually bouncing at this support level so what I saw here was another support at this level here here we have a support and here a support and here but actually now after looking again the support at this level is so weak and therefore I believe that the market will reverse at this support here this is a support here which is a stronger level and here it was a support as well and we can see the support here also so yeah the trade now is losing uh, big time but I believe now at this point here the market should reverse and go up if it doesn't then we just lost the trade that's fine not a problem um, Losing one trade is not a problem among, uh, I believe, about 11 trades. Moving to the next one. Why did I place buy here instead of sell? A very good question. If you look here, guys, I have applied uh, the breakout candle strategy, which is like that. What I saw here was actually uh, a breakout from, let me tell you, if you guys have watched my video about the breakout strategy it was simple like that we need to see the breakout from the trend line the resistance trend line and as well we need to see the breakout from the horizontal resistance like this so we need to see the breakout happening here at this point here what I did was I rushed a little bit because I saw that this candle here this candle is kind of breaking from this level if I draw my resistance zone here like this I can see that this candle was about to break from this level but unfortunately the next candle is reversing but still I believe because we have here guys a strong support level this level here so I'm assuming that the market or the candles might come down to this level and then it will head up and uh, the buy option will be uh, correct here so we just have to wait and see what will gonna happen moving to the next one you can tell that I have sold here I placed sell and clearly it was right but now I think I will close it for one reason let me explain to you the reason first why did I place sell here and why I have to close it right now since I am on demo I have no stress at all to explain to you in brief what I'm doing what I saw here guys first of all the trend direction is downtrend so the trend is going down so what I need to do now is I have to draw a trend line in the opposite direction and what I saw here was the candle actually breaking out from this trend line and also breaking this horizontal resistance if you guys have seen the video uh, I explained this very very well and 
you can know that your trade will be a winning trade especially seeing it actually going down now what was the rules of the breakout candle strategy the rule of the breakout allow me to explain it again one time if you draw a trend line if for example the market is falling down okay if you draw this trend line trend line and you can see the candle actually breaking from this horizontal resistance so the breakout will happen here then according to my rules that candle will keep going down until hitting the first level where we started drawing the trend line meaning because we started drawing the trend line here the candles will keep moving until the same level so to this point here where I started drawing my trend line the candles will keep moving down what happened here is exactly what I'm saying now the candles has actually broke from this level but they keep falling down to the same level where I started drawing my trend line which is here so I can actually enter only from this point here until this point here because I don't know what will happen here maybe the candles will reverse or maybe it will go down that you cannot be sure and therefore I have to close my trade in profit and end it the key to success in Forex is you have to know when to exit and when to enter you have to kill your greediness look at that now guys the candle now is moving up meaning there was a chance now there is a chance that the market will go up here and I could have lost my trade so knowing the rules or knowing how this market is moving you can know where exactly to exit your trade if you know where to exit then this market it will be very easy now let's go to the next trade USD CAD now here I placed the sell option now the same rules of the previous trade what I saw here was simply like that I draw in my brain uh, a trend line like that and I can tell that there is a breakout gonna happen here because the next can the this red candle closed exactly on the line and I think now the next candle here this one should fall down until the same level where I started drawing my trend line which is here so in other words I can set this as my take profit like that 18 pips so this will be my take profit and let's see and wait we'll what will gonna happen remember I'm on the 30 minute time frame so I can move to the 15 or 5 and so far the, the, the candles are outside of the trend line or not hold on uh, uh, no they are not outside of the trend line but still I believe the candles will reverse here and start falling down that is because the trend is strongly falling down it has a very strong bearish momentum I don't think it will go up at this point so yeah it's going against the, the, my direction for the meantime but I believe because here I can see that we have a resistance here we have a resistance therefore I believe the candles might be going up a little bit until, until this level and then yes and then you can see it guys getting weaker and weaker and it will actually fall down so we just have to wait and see what will gonna happen all right let's go to the next trade uh, this one I placed buy I think yes uh, let me go to the one hour chart and show you the reason for my buy option uh, the trend guys in this uh, chart is going up so this is an uptrend if it is an uptrend meaning I have to focus on the buy setups what I said here what I saw here was simply like that I draw the trend line in my head like this like that I saw the trend line or actually I draw it in my head this one here and I saw the potential of a breakout from this resistance because the trend is flying up so what I'm assuming that the candle will actually break out from this level so we just have to wait and see what will gonna happen the next trade 
Euro JPY. Again, same rules exactly, the same rules, and I think I should have closed the, uh, the trade earlier. That is a perfect setup, guys. Let me explain to you. The same rule exactly as I'm saying. This is a downtrend. This trend is going down in the current trend, I mean. So if we zoom in, we can draw actually a trend line like that. Remember, it's not about the time frame, it's about the principle, the understanding, the same rules of Forex applied on all time frames. So this is a trend line which was bouncing like that. In the end, it will break out from this level. So it broke actually the horizontal resistance and broke the trend line resistance. Trend line resistance. TLR. Trend line resistance. Now the question. If this breakout is gonna happen, where it's gonna get do getting get down? As I said before, it will go down to the same point where I started drawing my trend line. And as you can see, fair enough. The candle actually, while well, I was explaining to you my entries, went down all the way to the same level here. And therefore, I should have closed my trade here with a take profit. Unfortunately, I missed it. I did not take it, but I'm happy because I'm seeing that what I'm teaching here is very accurate. And this is a slap on the face for everyone uh, claiming that Forex is a random market. Forex is never a random market. If you don't understand it, that's not our mistake. That is your mistake. If you don't do your homework, then you have to do your homework. So again, I'm telling the trend, the trend uh, broke from this uh, resistance trend line. Sorry, this support trend line. Did I, did I say resistance trend line before? No, it is a support trend line. And as I told you, the breakout went all the way down to the same point where I started drawing my trend line. So I will keep it anyway, since I got nothing to lose. Hopefully it will come back down again. Okay, let's go to the next one. Euro AUD. Euro AUD, um, I assumed it will bounce at this support level. Unfortunately, it did not bounce. And in this point, I have to close my trade with a loss. This is a question, or sorry, this is an answer for those who don't know where and when to close their trade with a loss. They tell me, where is your stop loss? I will make a video about that. But for the meantime, look at that, guys. I assumed that the candle or the market will actually bounce at this level here. Well, unfortunately it didn't. And I can see this is a very strong breakout candle and still 17 minutes left for the candle to expire. Um, at this point, I don't think it's gonna reverse. So I will close it with a loss. Uh, the next entry could be actually good here at this point here because I see here another uh, Support I can assume this is support number one. So hopefully when the candle come down all the way here I can enter at support number two, but remember I failed this trade here Meaning the bearish momentum is very strong and there is a Chance that you will fail. Let me do something very interesting. I sold now, don't assume that I sold just because um, I'm, how can I say that? Like the newbies, when they fail in their buy, they will immediately go and sell. That is so noobs, uh, noobs, noobs doing that. No, let me explain to you what I saw here now. What I saw was simple like that. Start drawing my trend line. And I see the breakout happened here. Not only that, but we also broke the horizontal support, meaning now the candles will keep going all the way down until the same level where I started drawing my trend line, which is here at this point here. Meaning, I will set my tech profit to be at the same level. Guys, is it clear for you? Let me explain it one more time. What I saw here after the breakout, after the breakout, after failing this trade, what I saw was uh, I started drawing my trend line from 
this point here from this uh, wick here all the way to this support here all the way to the support here and I can see the breakout from this support trend line this is a, a breakout from the support trend line now according to the breakout rules breakout candle uh, strategy if there's a breakout it will keep going to the same point where I started drawing my trend line which is exactly this point here because here I started drawing my trend line right so the candle will continue falling more and more down to this level now I can see the GBP GPY is really going bad uh, against our will and therefore I have to close it now with a loss uh, let me explain the reason before I close it with a loss let me tell you something what I'm about to see here is something like this I, I will draw my trend line and I will draw the support uh, level here so if the candles continue to go more down and break from this support here I'm going to place sell and my take profit will be at the same level where I started drawing my trend line which is here so this level here uh, is where this candle is going so now I see the trade is not going in my will instead of uh, just watching the loss getting bigger I'm going to close this one with a loss as simple as that uh, where were we the last thing was yes this one yes you can see it guys as I said before it's just keep going more and more down to our tech profit level uh, this one did we actually I started forgetting where were we uh, the last one was this one Did I explain the reason for this cell here? I believe I did, right? GPP USD. All right. I actually completely lost now. Where, where, where was I? I'm not sure exactly. Um, okay. Let's uh, talk about this one here. Uh, in this trade here, what I did, uh, I placed the buy option because, as I told you. I actually I explained this before guys forgive me I have a very bad memory uh, oh okay so we were at the last one okay euro AUD ah uh, okay good so all of them now in profit and yes it is very good did I explain the reason for this trade or not I believe okay let me just uh, go in a brief and explain the reason for this trade what I saw here was simply like that I saw our I draw in my my head I draw the trend line here because you can see here that you have a support guys okay so this is a support level as you know from my channel support level will always and forever be a support forever it's not temporary meaning this uh, long week here is actually a support because we have here as I said a support level so what I saw uh, a trend line like that and the breakout from the support level and as I said the candles will continue falling more and more and more down until hitting the same level where I started drawing my trend line meaning my take profit will be here because as I, as I said the candles will continue uh, falling down until this level at this level next I don't know what will gonna happen will it go down will it reverse I cannot be sure all I care for is catching all these uh, 34 pips from this trade very good very good that is very good uh, the same goes to this trade as well exactly the same rule uh, we can see guys the trend is falling more and more and more down it is a downtrend therefore what I saw and draw in my in my head uh, I made a trend line like that and the support like that so you can tell that the market is actually breaking out from this level and this candle here it has broke this trend line 
and it broke this uh, horizontal support meaning it will continue falling on more and more down until where guys until the same level where we started drawing our trend line meaning I can close this trade right now with profit because I'm not sure how or where the candle is going more will it reverse will it continue going more down you can never be sure so now I can tell that almost all of our trades are in profit and yeah I explained this one also and this one I believe it will continue moving more and more up until hitting uh, this uh, resistance anyway the charts is here uh, this video was recorded uh, Monday uh, 4 p.m. GMT you can guys go to the, back to the charts and check what happened later with these trades as you can see I'm going to close this one in a profit as well because it was it is about to hit my ta my target and this one also is falling more down it's about to hit the take profit and this one also is falling more down so I will close it in profit and this one also I will keep it running uh, this one is still struggling so in the end we we had profits and you can see this candle because I just want to close the video now I don't want to keep it running for a long time I'm sure a lot of you are uh, getting bored from the long videos so let's check the results in the end uh, we were able to make profit of $451 out of this $10,000 account uh, we had one two three four five six six trade uh, in win and these two failed and there is also another uh, four uh, four trades running this one I will close it in profit and this one I will close it in profit uh, this one still struggling and this one still struggling as well uh, let me just do something I, I think this one will go more down you guys can check uh, euro AUD how it will go later I believe it will go down and you know something I will just pause the video for a few minutes and let's see what will gonna happen to these two trades I don't want to close the video uh, incompleted so yeah let's pause the video now and see what will gonna happen in the end okay guys so I believe I need to close the video now because actually I got to go somewhere now um, I will close the first one in profit even so tiny no problem uh, this one I'm sure it will continue falling more down um, euro AUD I believe it's going more and more down I don't think it can go up at this level it's now making a small bounce here but according to my strategy uh, it should go down here all the way until 1.59848 before it bounces back or continue to fall more down so this video as I said is re being recorded on Monday uh, 1st of October you can guys go back and check uh, what happened later if my analysis was right or not and I'm hopefully it will be correct so let me just now close the trade I am um, it's okay no problem let me close it with it uh, with a loss so let's see the total results of today's uh, game so we had uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine 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 uh, one trades and one two three three lost trades total was uh, a profit of four hundred twenty six dollars again I am telling you you can never do that on real account because entering so many trades like that uh, is very risky you can blow your account what I wanted to prove in this video that this market is never random Forex market is never random if you just know what you are doing you can be sure that your trade will be in profit now I'm looking back to see the trades which has lost I'm studying them one by one to see what happened uh, it's okay I don't want to make this video so long we are already in about 30 minutes so guys uh, we have won about uh, nine trades and lost three out of 12 trades we lost only three trades I believe this is like uh, 80 
or 77% uh, winning ratio. You can always have the same winning ratio with my strategy if you just understand what you are doing. So guys, uh, I hope this video was very enter entertaining to you. And until the next video, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.